our last day in Florence. Wow, what a day. It's so tiring, but oh, we love it. We spent about 45 minutes in the line waiting for that panini at Al Antico Binayo. And also, oh God, that Perkino Gelato is the best. It, that's our number one. And then, we didn't realize that the time is already about 3, 4 o'clock now. And we missed the Mercato Centrale. And they're closed now. Most of the restaurant inside are closed. So we missed to eat those uh, uh, traditional Ferenci uh, or Florence, uh, Florentine street foods. Like those uh, Lampari Lampereto. Lem Lempereto, they call it. I don't know if my pronunciation is uh, right. Lempareto or Lampareto. It's like a, a cow stomach on the sandwich or like panini. Panini, and there's a lot of food also to explore there. Some street food. So hopefully that means we're gonna come back. <laughs> and the three days here in Florence is not enough, so we need probably to stay here for at least five days. So then right now we're on our way to Piazzali Michael Angelo. So the Piazzali Michael Angelo is a square with a panoramic view of Florence, Italy, located in the Old Tarno district of the city. And look at the view you can see. Wow, what a beautiful view you can see the whole Florence. And we're gonna stay up here until the night time to take some good pictures. We're in the top of the hill in uh, Piazzale de Michelangelo and it's overlooking the whole Terence area oh it's a beautiful to watch the sunset here and that's the Ponte Vecchio that's the Piazza Signora Signore and that's the Domo so you can see everything here and our hotel is over there wow it's beautiful so it's beautiful for sunset most of people look at the, the tourists in the airports and watching the sunset. <laughs> 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 Good evening guys, welcome to Shantae and Romantic Travelers. What a third day in Ven uh, Venice, in Florence. But, well, we're so sad. It's our last day, but it's nice. It's not enough. We will come back. We love Florence. The food, you see the view on the top of Piazza Lee, <coughs> Michelangelo it's so beautiful the sunset is oh my god it's beautiful the, imagine we stay there for almost three hours until the evening and you can see some picture uh, in our Facebook uh, 
and we share it in the Facebook and also I'm gonna put it on the YouTube but guys when you come here you need to prepare your legs <laughs> at, le at least you need to prepare at least four miles a day yeah but it's so tiring but uh, the what you call this uh, after it after the walking the price is you called it priceless <laughs> the What's beautiful the, price? the priceless is the beautiful scenery and the food here oh wow so and the ice cream you know was the number one ice cream so we already I already say it's the Perkino it's the number one what do you think love yes she agreed see and they really did miss the rice and <laughs> some Filipino food so she went to Thai Chinese restaurant <laughs> Yeah, luckily I was I'm I'm like that before also. I know what's the feeling, you know, because before uh, I cannot stand without rice and some Filipino foods. And wow, it's we love Italy. I don't know what to say. The only thing is we miss the Mercat uh, Mercat Centrale, the Mercato because of the standing online in Al, uh, Altico Pinayo, that panini bread. We almost standing there for 45 minutes. And, you know, it's good, but, well, just try it. You know, I don't say that, you know, that uh, you won't go there. But for me, it's like a little bit of over, uh, what do you call that? Over, uh, what you uh, what you call that the uh, love huh? uh, over what you call that uh, thing the over over thing? no 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 the antico vinayo ah overrated overrated yeah it's kind of overrated but you know you need to try because it's popular but we miss the mercato so well probably that means we're gonna come back next time and we love it here so tomorrow it's another chapter of our trip so that's the remember the first chapter is Villaggio the second is Milan the third is Venice this one's the fourth and then the fifth chapter of our trip is Roma so we're gonna be in Rome tomorrow unfortunately that's the only day it's supposed to be the Pope will gonna hold the mass but he is in Slovakia right now so well we cannot witness the mass you know so i thought we can do it but well there that means there always a purpose to come back to italy i'm telling you uh, italy is the number one destination especially romantic destination uh, we love it here we love italy i fall in love in this place and i wish we can live here the people everybody Italian people are so nice and the weather the food oh my god it's like I'm gonna miss it I wish every year I'm gonna come here <laughs> we're gonna come here I mean you know so uh, we're gonna uh, prepare some we're gonna some packing tonight and we're gonna get up early because our train is seven o'clock and we're gonna have another adventure in Rome, another romantic destination. And then remember on the 16th, mm -hmm. we have the highlights. So that's our surprise. So I will tell you in the airport, okay? On the 16th, when we get there. And the weather is beautiful. So I advise you guys, when you go to Italy, come at least around April, May, or around uh, middle September or uh, early October. So that's my advice to come here. It's beautiful, beautiful place. It's, uh, I cannot, you know what? This is already, we've been here for like 17 days. And we feel like it's not enough. We need to stay here for at least six months. <laughs> we need to go from north to south. And I'm telling you, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. You know, my, what my dream is, I wish we can, stay in Tuscany and there's more to explore more to explore 
you know, remember the movie Apple Under Spirits. the Tuscan uh, Sun. Oh, and then we can order our Aperol Spritz. So, uh, the last Aperol Spritz here in uh, uh, Florence. 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 You know, I'm telling you, it's. And when you come here, Perkino, number one gelato. Try that steak. Remember that steak that uh, Osteria the the Oste? Dal Oste. Mm -hmm. Try it. That's the best. And we're gonna uh, enumerate whatever the best things that we yeah, did here. And you know, in your video. Video. So I'm sorry, guys, that I'm not updated on my video because look at that because of the tiring. You know, mm -hmm. we get uh, back to our room late and we need to have. Uh, rest and uh, actually when we get back to Chicago I think we need uh, three days spa <laughs> like <laughs> massage relax it's like oh my god but it's worth it it's worth it try it and if you need some advice about the itinerary you can put it on our on our in the comment on the our YouTube channel and I will then help you. Okay? Okay. So Those guys are Arrivederci. <laughs> Arrivederci Ferenci. And Benvenito Roma tomorrow. Guys, we love you and stay safe. Ciao.